Welcome back for a very special sports show. Today we turn back the clock a bit and revisit one of the greatest Montana State athletes of all time in an exclusive story. This is a man who championed the Bobcats as a leader on the football field, began his legendary coaching legacy right on that same field, and used his experiences at MSU to build one of the most successful collegiate football coaching careers in recent memory. Erickson spots sophomore Ron Bain of Kalispell and hits him for the first Bobcat touchdown of 1966. And so began the three-year playing career of one of the most prominent Bobcats of all time. But it is Dennis Erickson's coaching that has taken him from MSU to the national spotlight. Well, if it wasn't for Montana State and, and, and Bozeman, Montana, and guys like Jim Sweeney and Tom Perry and Sonny Holland and all the people that... Uh, gave me the opportunities of Montana State and the Bobcats, I wouldn't have any opportunity to be where I'm at right now. Where he's at right now is back coaching in the Pac-10, and his resume can only be described as extremely impressive. Hey! Erickson started that resume here at MSU, where he was a multiple selection All-Big Sky quarterback and served as a graduate assistant coach. But now, it is here at Arizona State where he is currently plying his trade, just another school in a long list of well-coached Dennis Erickson programs. That list includes his current employer, Arizona State, as well as Oregon State, Washington State, Idaho, and Miami, where he won two national championships. But it's his playing days in Bozeman that he may be best remembered for. Erickson runs the option behind Boyd's fine block and slips into the end zone for a quick score. The number one physical thing that Dennis did uh, was ran the option very, very well. And he would keep, he'd pitch, he'd keep, and then he'd pitch. And uh, he, had, he was a very talented kid with regard to, uh, to dealing with the option. Erickson again displays his niftiness with the option as he turns the corner, forces the defense to commit, then pitches to Haas, who rambles for 26 yards into Tulsa territory. Well, it's nice to know that you've, you've uh, had some uh, impact on, on the school that you went to and that they think highly of you. And, uh, you know, I try to help out as much as I can and will continue to, and even more so as time goes on here because Montana State is my school. He's given back in many ways as his likeness adorns the walls of the football coaching offices inside the Brick Breeden Fieldhouse. But maybe more importantly, Erickson has shown current and former Bobcats alike that MSU can serve as a catapult to success. There's no question about it. It's very exciting to walk in the door every day and see Dennis Erickson's name and Joe Tiller's name on the office complex because they were donors and, and sponsors for this football office area that we have here. And it does give you the idea that this is a, a big time football operation. Football's important here and I think that's something that that we can use to build our program upon is the fact that guys have come through here and they've gone on and made it in higher levels of football. Erickson in for the catch, sprints to the right side, looks back and throws to Richards who makes a leaping catch for the touchdown. In coaching you hope that somewhere along the line you will have had a uh, mark that you put on a lot of young people or provide opportunities for people to to do the very best they can with what they have and sometimes do better than with what they have. Uh, Dennis, Dennis was an overachiever and he's still doing it. With all the wins Coach Erickson has racked up, he still says the foundation for his future was built by Bobcat coaching legends such as Sonny Holland and the community that surrounds MSU Athletics. I learned a lot about what coaching's all about and winning and football and character and all that stuff from those guys. And, and I, probably more than anything, the people that I met uh, in Bozeman when I was in school and, and, and when I went back there, I mean, they're, they're as close of friends as I have. So obviously it had a tremendous impact on my life. MSU only has one other alum coaching at the D1 level, Joe Tiller, the head man at Purdue. And along with Erickson, they continue to make an impact at their alma mater. But the best part is, and I'll tell you this, they both really still care about Montana State football. I've written them both. I've gotten nice notes back from both of them. I know they're still Bobcats deep down inside. Erickson has done what most only dream of. He left a legacy of triumph and accomplishment at Montana State that will never be forgotten. It was a lot of fun coaching a young man like Dennis, and, and I really feel quite proud that he's done so much in the world of football and uh, continue to lead young men and make, make things happen in the world of football. Obviously it holds a, 
deep spot in my heart. And I give back there as much as I can and still have friends there. And, and uh, I'll always call it home because it is home to me because that's where I spent a lot of important years. Erickson now changes up and sends flanker Jim Tuss on a deep pattern. Hits him on the 20 and the Bobcats score by the airway. I miss Montana State. I'll always be Bobcat. And Erickson's successes have continued now at Arizona State. The Sun Devils were just crowned Pac-10 co-champions, and Erickson was named Conference Coach of the Year. He's the only coach to earn that honor with three different teams in the same conference. And guys, when I talked to Coach Erickson, he said when he was done coaching, he definitely wanted to come back to Bozeman, spent a lot of his retirement time here. And also, one final note for Sports Tonight, UM Western football coach Tommy Lee retired after seven seasons at the helm. And we'll have more on that tonight at 10. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Jeff. We'll be right back.